kind of the team's mentality after a tough game like this? Um, you know, that, it was a good um, team. Chico State's a good D2 team, and they came out, punched us in the mouth in the beginning, and we had to come back in the second half and pick it up. Um, you know, we, we we were playing slow in the first half, and second half we had to come out and turn things around. And like Coach said, we had 5% offensive rebounds in the first half, so that's big, that, that's big for our team to have that many rebounds and come back and Larry picked it up in the second half. Larry, after an easy game on Tuesday night, what did you like about what this game does to prepare you for the first real game? Every game is a good preparation for us. We're just trying to concentrate on like doing what we do and it's like not of course opponent is important for us, but like we're trying to focus on what we do. How excited are you guys that exhibition season over and now you got face machine State in Hawaii? Um, this is exciting, you know, um, knowing we're the first game of college basketball next Friday and you know, we're ready for the challenge. Could you know, how's kind of life without Ray now and you have to move on and it depends on what happens with the other information. How do you guys move on and, and uh, rotations and things like that? How's that? Um, you know, everyone still, everyone has a bigger role now. You know, everyone has to step up and even the walk-ons will have a chance to get in the game for a couple minutes just to get get guys blows and you know we're gonna have to you know compete, go hard every minute. We're out there on the court and do the best we could. I mean, did, did Ray address you guys or what was that like when you found out that, that he had made the decision not to play? Um, you know, it's it's not fair for a guy like Ray, you know, having been able to play his senior year in high school, his freshman year in college or his sophomore year, you know, never really got to play college basketball and it's not fair when a guy worked that hard to get back. And, you know, the first exhibition game, he waited his whole life really to play college basketball, and he got injured again. So, you know, it was tough on him. It's also tough on the team. And, you know, we just don't have to move forward, and he's with us every day. Um, so that's that's a positive thing. He's going to help us while he's on the bench and tell us what he's seeing, and we're just going to take it from him. Can you share any words that you said to him, that you encouragement or anything of that nature? Uh, you know, I just tell him, you know, Get, well, there's not much you can say when you tore it three times. You know, just tell him to get well. We're here for him, and like he said, he's here for us, and he's still a part of the team. Is this the way? I mean, do you guys figure this might be what you have for a while here, at least in the short near-term future, uh, with Alonzo and Chance maybe out and Ray down, and you know, seven guys. You were talking about walk-ons, but no walk-ons even played today. So I'm wondering, Friday you might go in the same situation. Uh, you know, well, everyone's going to have to do what they did today and step it up a little bit more. Uh, Michigan State's a good team, and we're going to have to come out, and they're going to have to match our intensity. Um, so I, I feel with the guys we have now, we, we can do a good job. We just have to play hard and play together. You, you two think you're going to have to take the offensive role of taking over offensively? Um, yeah, we, we have a couple. We have more pieces also, though. But, you know, as Coach tells me and Larry every day, we're going to get fouled more. We, we, we just have to be physical and take the shots that they give us. And how do you feel, Lowry? You seem like you had a lot to, a lot going on out there, a lot of production. But, you know, uh, you had to play a lot of minutes as well. I mean, was it tough to, to, to keep at that level in the game? Yeah, like, I'm used to playing a lot of minutes, so that's not bad. But, like, just learning three positions, like set plays and to guard a little bit smaller guys. So that's a little bit of adjustment. But. We're working on it every day. I'm sure we'll be fine. Along those lines, uh, I asked uh, Sean a couple of days ago, the mismatches you present on the outside, how, how is that for you? Because it's going to take somebody big to follow you around. Yeah, of course, that will help our, our offense. If they put the small guy on me, of course, I can go to the low post too. So I think it helps a lot to get like it or do some like a smaller matchup. So overall, it just helps our match. And your range, and your range is obviously beyond the three-point line. But can you? Are you? Are you a fifteen-footer, twelve-footer guy too? Mid-range. Yeah, I'm trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Like I know I can make those shots. Didn't fall today. Larry, how do you think the team rebounded today? Uh, first half, we didn't rebound that well, so that was the reason we were down. To have, but we we focused on it on the second half. So I think 
And second half, we did a pretty good job. Is it a matter of effort or is it a matter of technique as to why you guys kind of grab at it today and you guys even had some uh, trouble giving that you know, as well? I think it's both uh, just attitude to just to get the ball. Like the last or every lose ball and just like, that's the way to get. Dean, what did you like about the energy that Kobe brought at the defensive end? It seemed like you kind of sparked that run in the, in the first half with, with the way he battled out there defensively. Uh, yeah, as you see, he had five steals tonight. Um, it's incredible for a freshman and it's the second game of college basketball. Um, you know, most freshmen are going to come out and try to score high, but <clears throat> the freshmen we have this year have a mindset of really playing team ball and, and being all in. So a lot of credit to those guys, but, you know, Kobe just played, he just played great and gave tremendous effort on defense tonight. You, you're obviously the senior guy. How is the role of the senior going to be the leader guy? Because you were out there being a pretty good leader in the second half, I think. Um, you know, it's, it's something I do every day. Um, Coach Miller gave me that, that job to take over this team. And, you know, um, doing what I have to do to get us better and help everyone on the court. And, you know, as he say, it doesn't take for me, um, a point guard, whatever. It could be a freshman, anyone out there leading. So once, I feel once our team get to that point and everyone knows they can lead, we'll be a good team. Is there anything you guys picked up today just in general, um, you know, after having a lot tougher game than you had in the first exhibition that maybe you hadn't seen in practice? Um, kind of jumped out at you today that you need to get back and work on this week? Um, you know, we, we just have to get more effort on a, on a rebound, um, you know, more effort on defense. And I feel with that, shots will start falling and we'll be what we want to do. And you had that play where you lost the three-point attempt. How hard is that when you're out on the perimeter to make a play like that? Um, you know, it's hard. It's just, it's just effort, you know, it's just effort and go go all out, give it all. And you make great plays like that on defense. Do you uh, expect to see as much as I want this season as you saw them? I think we'll see a lot of zone this season because we're so great, we're so good on offense and with the mismatches Lowry we have and Dusan and you know a lot of teams really can't guard our front court so with those guys and and with the guards we have we should be a good team. Lowry, after these first couple of games, has coaching staff expressed that they want you to shoot more and be more aggressive on offense? Yeah, they told me that like, every practice or film session we have now halftime during the game, like just to be aggressive, like make plays, like I'm just trying to help the team. But so I think they're expecting me to be aggressive and go to the rim, but like as well as shoot the ball too. Anything else for these two? Uh, 